like kapag minimension mo yung hobbies mo and your talents mo, yung mga loko-loko kasi nating classmate ay sinasabi talaga nila, Woo! Sample! 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 <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Mia Ganjisal Jordan in Bibi Life Vlogs. And if bago ka palang sa channel ko, you can click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell para ma-notify ka sa mga next following videos natin. So sa video na to, ay iba na naman ang pag-uusapan natin mga kag-Bibi Life Vlogs. Ito ay tungkol sa how to introduce yourself or self-introduction. Kasi hindi talaga ito mawawala, lalo na kapag first day of school, college interviews, and even job interviews. And introducing yourself makes other people na magiging comfortable sila and nabibigay mo na sa kanila yung mga personal details na dapat nilang malaman na galing sa'yo. And I admit that when it comes to self-introduction, it's not a struggle talaga ako. Hindi naman kasi lahat ng mga tao ay may ganun klaseng confidence ano, na lumalagpas pa talaga, no? na biniyaya talaga sila ng ganun klaseng confidence. Even though it's face-to-face -face or online class, helpful pa rin yung mga information na ibibigay ko in this video. So, panoorin mo hanggang dulo ang video na to. Let's go to the number one. In introducing ourselves, let's make our posture as confident as possible. I admit na when it comes to introducing myself, hindi talaga ako ganun ka-confident when it comes to my posture. Pero according to research, yung posture natin is nakakatulong yun para mas ma-identify nila yung personality natin when it comes sa tindig natin in introducing ourselves. This number one is related siya sa something like sa perspective ng isang tao like kapag tinitingnan kanila ay masasabi nila through your body language is na identify na nila na you are not confident enough in sharing your information pero yung tanong kakaba ka ba ano ba normal naman talagang kabahan tayo eh during introducing ourselves in front of the other people and even first day of class of class Papasok na naman tayo sa pangalawa. Be friendly when it comes to introducing yourself. Pero, dapat rin nating alamin yung audience natin. Hindi porket na sinasabi kong be friendly ngayon, ay mapapatunayan nyo na na ay pwede lang pala maging friendly during introducing yourselves. Like, ano ka ba ma'am? Oo naman. Yeah, you mean like, my name is Jordan? Of course. You mean my age is 19? Yeah. When you try to speak in front of the other people when trying to introduce yourself, I make something like approachable ka sa paningin nila. If online class naman, you can just focus on the camera. Like, you just talk talaga sa face-to-face -face na parang reality kayo nag-usap-usap yung talk, like something friendly ka is na I identify na ng mga audience or ng mga nakikinig sa'yo or even your classmates na ganun yung personality mo. And even online class or face-to-face, -face, we can do eye contact. So, proceed na naman tayo sa pangatlo. Ito yung knowing your audience. Kasi minsan, when it comes to introducing ourselves, is na nakakalimutan na natin kung sino yung nais natin ipapakinig yung ating shared information. At involved na rin dito sa knowing your audience, like dapat kapag nakikipag-usap tayo, or when we try to share some of our information in front of our teacher, then gawin natin yung sarili natin as formal as possible. Hindi yung opo, taga ano ko, yes po, yung sa gilid-gilid lang po, yung may bandang ano, opo, dun po, yung may tindahan, dun po ako nakapira. Ano? Ano ma? Palagi akong kinakabahan when it comes to introducing myself in front of the other people. Pero may instances kasi na yung utak ko mismo ay nag-respond sa akin na iisipin mo lahat ng mga tao na kinakausap mo during introducing yourself is mga bato. As in, bato. Dito kasi sa pangatlo, like knowing your audience is parang tinutulungan ka na may limitations yung mga informations na dapat mong i-share sa mga taong ito. Like knowing your audience, kung ano yung mga behavior na dapat mong ipakita during introducing yourself. Pero minsan kasi, lalo na pag first day of class, ano, like kapag minimension mo yung hobbies mo and your talents mo, yung mga loko-loko kasi nating classmate ay sinasabi talaga nila, Sample! 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 
Tapos tayo, parang nawawala na tayo ng gana, no? Kasi kinakabahan na nga tayo. Tapos yung mga kaklase natin, like mga new classmates natin, is pinasample pa talaga tayo. So, parang... Kung nagsasabi sila na, go ahead, magbigay ka naman ng sample. If kaya pa ng confidence mo or ng dignidad mo, then pwede mo yung ipakita during the self-introduction. Ikaapat. Speak clearly in a loud voice. Kasi need naman talaga yung during self-introduction eh. Like... Hmm. Kasi kapag hindi ka nila maririnig ng maayos is maaaring pa uulitin ka nila kasi dapat kasi during that self-introduction ibibigay mo na yung best mo and make your voice as loud as possible. Hindi naman yung parang extreme talaga ng Wow! My name is Jordan! Wow! Hindi naman ganun. I just wanted to say like do your voice as normal as possible and even as loud as and clear. Speak loud and clear. Kasi, although not good in speaking skills because you're not too good in English, at least, magaling ka rin sa pagdi-deliver ng information na nais mong iparating sa mga listeners. So, let's proceed sa last. Make it as unique as possible. So, kapag ini-introduce kasi natin yung sarili natin, um, something like, gusto kasi ng mga listeners or even ng mga audience natin na Parang unique yung pag introduce na natin ng self natin. There are certain information na kinakailangan talaga during self-introduction. Maybe it's, yeah, commonly yung name, age, location natin. And it's up to you. Kapag gusto mo na i-mention yung birth date mo. Kasi, yeah, may mga tao kasi or may mga estudyante naman na hindi nila gusto na i-mention yung birth date nila. So, yun lamang yung information na gusto kong i-share sa inyo. I just wanted to advise you like, huwag ka nang kabahon. Before I forgot, kung may mga questions kayo and mga additional information na gusto nyo i-add, go ahead and comment that one down below and I will try my best to answer some of your questions. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell para ma-notify ka rin sa mga next following videos natin. So this is Gleamy Life Vlogs that always reminds you that if your life is gloomy, Always remember that Gleamy Life Vlogs is here for you. So see you on my next videos. Goodbye!